this is the architecture of the the transactional replication let's say this is uh, your source server okay so you have database similarly you have database on the target server so now we are trying to set up the transactional replication between the source server to the target server for this database okay so when you set up the replication these are the components generally you will see you are sending the changes from this server to the server okay so you call this server as publisher there are some terms uh, you need to understand uh, before uh, we look into the components okay so this is called publisher and this is called subscriber so publisher is the one who sends the data and subscriber is the one who receives the data okay publisher publish the data okay so publisher what you do uh, you publish the data and pub you create publication you create the publication in the publisher okay you create subscription in the subscriber so what publisher publish it publish articles okay in the publication you create articles so you know typically uh, the replication software it follows the uh, the printing press uh, terminology you know publisher article subscriptions uh, distributor and all that uh, all the terms uh, it follows the printing press uh, terminology you know replication is there for last 15 20 years you know this publication uh, subscription is there for a very long time so <coughs> this is the publisher and you create the publication okay in the publication you specify the articles articles are nothing but tables views stored procedures these are these are the article article is you specify table as an article what is that you wanted to send it to your subscriber okay publisher has to send the data to subscriber right what is the data table publisher creates a publication and in the publication he specifies the articles articles are nothing but tables okay in the art, uh, tables or views or whatever it is okay so in the subscriber you create you subscribe to that subscriber will subscribe to that publication okay so you will create the subscription on the subscriber for that publication so that's how you get the data that's that's what the terminology is you need to understand okay there is some other uh, concept called the distributor we, we will look into that okay so these are the terms you need to understand publisher subscriber publication subscription articles these are the terms okay so now let's look into the components so when you set up the transactional replication what happens so this is the publisher this is the subscriber so here you will create one component called log reader agent okay there is one component so log reader agent component it reads the changes okay so log reader agent this this will read the changes that are occurring on this database because this is the one that captures the changes okay and captures the changes and write it into distribution database
okay it is like a queue database so you have a, a, a process a windows process that keeps running and it and, and it captures the changes that are occurring on this database server and and write the changes into the distribution database so now there is another process called distribution agent okay so there is another process which reads the records from the distribution database and apply it to the target database uh, that's pretty much the transactional replication it, it it has to capture the changes one process will capture the changes other process will apply the uh, will read the changes from the uh, from the distribution database and apply the changes to the target server so this is what generally uh, in the transactional replication okay so now you can you can put the distribution database on the same on the same publication server for example uh, let's uh, draw one more diagram here you have you have the source database okay in the source server target database okay so the you can have another server and put the distribution database here okay here you have log reader agent okay so typically where the log reader agent will be log reader agent okay so this is a distribution database okay you can you can have uh, this is a source server this is target server this is distributor this is distributor server okay so you have the log reader agent here the process will run here it reads the changes from it reads the changes from this database and write it into the distribution database and you will have the the distribution agent okay so distribution agent it reads from here and write it into into this database okay so so typically uh, you can set up like this so the, you know you have to understand where these agents are and you know where it runs okay so typically you might want to put the distribution you might want to put log reader agent in a distribution sorry uh, the distribu uh, the log reader agent in its own server okay so you, it's better to have separate server for distribution okay so distributor is better to create a dedicated server for distributor this is this is one setup this is source server this is uh, this is target server okay you can have the source database here and target database here you can have the distribution database here itself on the source server okay there, there is no distributed distributed data separate server for distributor okay this is uh, distributor database this is source database this is target database okay so you will have log reader agent it is running on this server so wherever wherever you set up the uh, distribution wherever you set up the distribution database that's the place where the log reader agent okay so you can have so in this case uh, you can set up uh, your distribution agent here okay log reader agent it reads from this uh, from this database write it into this okay this one read read from the distribution database here and write it into here okay so you can set up uh, you can set up the transaction replication like this this is uh, setup number 1 this is setup number 2 okay you can have another setup uh, so this is what is called okay so let us say you have source database 
log reader agent here okay and uh, distribution similarly you have target server or target database okay here you can have distribution agent here okay so log reader agent will read from here write it into this database distribution agent read from the distribution agent uh, distribution database and write it into target database okay so basically here you see the this is uh, setup number 3 okay you basically you can put uh, any process anywhere it looks like right so if if you if you set up distribution agent on the target server if you if if your setup is like that that means you are pulling you are pulling the transaction transactions from the distribution agent uh, from the distribution database okay so this subscription is called pull subscription because you have the distribution agent on the target server and you are pulling the transactions from a, a distribution database which is residing on a remote server okay this is what is called as pull subscription this subscription is called pull subscription so here if you see this setup here my distribution agent it is on the um, on the publisher server okay it could be on the publisher server or it could be uh, on the distributor server okay so typically you can have distribution agent here or here you can set up either way if you set up distribution agent here then it is called push if you set up distribution agent here then it is called pull okay so here in this scenario this is called push here you see i i don't uh, my distribution server is same as publisher in this case my log reader agent will be on the publisher but i can also say distribution agent a push uh, subscription that means a distribution agent log reader agent both agents that means both process running on the same publisher server in the method 3 if you see here all the process i have two processes whatever the two processes both are running on the same server that means this server will be really busy because you write transactions into this database and whenever you write a transaction that transaction will be written to this database by whom by log reader agent correct and after that there will be another process that takes this transaction and write it into here that means you think about it there will be several things happening on the server if you if your setup is like that if your setup is method 3 you see uh, this kio will be heavy because you are writing one record here the same record you had right here you will be running two processes the two processes will be keep reading busy reading uh, transactions busy moving the transaction basically this you are bombarding the server with plenty of processes okay so typically you don't want um, all the processes and you know on, on one server okay so if you have multiple subscribers so see here how many number of subscribers here here we have one subscriber right this is a publisher this is a subscriber so publisher is publishing the data subscriber is pu subscriber subscribe to that published uh, publication okay subscriber is receiving the data you have you have uh, you have the uh, production database and he, this is your copy of production database right that's what essentially you are achieving you can have another subscriber for the same database that means uh, you have you, ha you have ha you'll have one publication but you will set up uh, the subscriber you subscribe to this publication this is another subscriber subscribe to the same publication like that you can have n number of subscribers subscribing to this publication that means if you set up two <coughs> subscribers then you will have two distribution agent jobs okay two distribution this is one distribution agent job and if you set up one more subscriber <coughs> and you say I'm going to push uh, I'm going to set up push subscription for all my subscribers that means you are you are saying okay put the distribution agent here for both subscribers that means this subscriber will push here and this subscriber will push here that means you have one process two process and log reader agent three process if you have 80 subscribers 80 processors 
80 process and this one 81 process. So all the processes run, will be running on the server. You have uh, distribution database, you have source database. Really, you can put this server in big trouble. Okay. So you might have to architect sometimes where you are going to put the distribution agent. Okay. Do you want uh, do you want push subscription or pull subscription? Uh, subscription. Okay. So you have to distribute you know you have to decide where you are going to set up what first you have to understand what is push subscription what is pull subscription okay push subscription uh, if you say push subscription when you are sub when you are uh, sub uh, subscribing to a pub certain publication that means you have to you have to decide uh, where you are going to set up the distribution agent here or here if you say push subscription that means the distribution agent will run here on the distributor and push the subscriptions to the target. If you say pull subscription, that means you will be creating the uh, distribution agent process here, which will be pulling the records from the distribution database and write it into the target database. Okay. Uh, you can you can set up any way you want it, as long as you understand the concept um, and uh, know what are the consequences, then you can do it. Okay. If you are really using replication for a lot of you have you have so many subscribers you are replicating so many articles that means article mean table right you are replicating so many tables you have so many publishing uh, publications right you can create n number of publications you can create many publications on a database okay and you might be having several database you might be having several publications every publication on a different database on a database you can create multiple publication that means you can make things more complex Okay, but you need to understand what you are doing. 